Hi, and welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Saturday, May 4th, 2024. May the 4th be with you. Tonight, let's take a look at yet another um, former media news personality who seems to be espousing some rather conservative and logical statements that make me wonder, have they had a chance to go to a spa and maybe are trying to um, earn some commissary privileges or uh, <laughs> a little more time in the exercise yard or something? I'm speaking of Chris Como, and I'll show you exactly why I started wondering that. Earlier today, I ran across a tweet that talked to, showed that uh, Chris Como, in a recent interview, admitted to having some bad reactions to a certain health protocol. And uh, that's usually a no-no subject. We're not supposed to, to uh, even hint that that's a possibility, that there's a relation there. So then uh, I thought, hmm, didn't I read about him a couple of years ago? Well, I did. So I'm going to take you back to 2021. And then we're going to talk about a few things that have happened in the interim. And we're going to find out if what I'm wondering about Chris Como is actually true. I don't mean to be cryptic here. I'll fill you in as we go. I'm going to take you to a share screen. If the items I have there interest you and you'd like to look at them in more detail, you're welcome to click on the Facebook link in the video description box. If not, just notice where I've gone and, and who I um, am referencing as far as things that made me curious. Before I do that, I've had people assume that I'm naive because I talk about people that have been, have been to spas, have been processed. Here's why I do that and why I carefully phrase the question often to talk about persons seen in the public eye. I know there's been multiple versions and there's placeholders out there for important names and faces. Absolutely do. My thought is, if those names and faces are allowed the resources and the privileges and the autonomy that the original person was, we need to keep our eyes on them too. So just kind of a heads up, especially if you're a new viewer, you're going to notice sometimes I ask about the person seen in the public eye. And that's usually a clue that I think there's a good chance this is not the original person. Or just in case it's not, let's do it that way because the universe is very literal. So we want to talk about the one that's got the current action that concerns us or that we're curious about. And such is the case with Chris Como. Case in point. Okay, I'll go to that share screen now. Thank you for your time while I explain something that I just felt maybe some newer viewers needed a heads up about. So don't assume I'm, I'm naive just because I'm asking about someone that as you wake up, you realize they were actually processed quite a while ago or have been to a spa. Uh, since they haven't been completely taken off the scene, we're going to keep our eyes on them, plain and simple. Okay. Going back three years ago, Chris Como was being uh, sought by military. And he had, if caught, he was going to face a tribunal. Now, he uh, alluded capture in this instance. And since he's not a major political figure, I couldn't find an update on what had happened if he had eventually caught up with him. I think it's just that he wasn't that relevant and there were other more important things to uh, report on. This is from Real Raw News. Please don't tell me if that's satirical. They do that for protection. I do think they provide us with some uh, pretty good intel quite often. Sometimes the dates aren't right. Uh, I know that they reported once about a uh, former elected official that I thought had been gone for quite a while, but they finally got the thumbs up to uh, write a story about it. And so they did, that's how I see it. All right. Now today, here is the uh, um, interview he had on News Nation talking about uh, some side effects that he's gotten from health protocols. And you can look at that here. He also um, fairly recently sat down with Tucker Carlson and they had a fairly civil and interesting uh, discussion. And one of the points that he made was that when you have someone who you don't totally align with as far as your personal beliefs 
it's still good to talk with them, have a conversation. And I, I really, I, like I said, that was so logical. That was not something I would expect from a diehard liberal to uh, um, see the value in finding commonalities with others. Uh, that that made me suspicious. And then today when he was willing, where you know, the uh, um, MSN still talks about, this is, this is something we just don't admit is even a possibility. And uh, you want to get shut down or silenced, that, <laughs> that'll do it. <laughs> so I thought, and I'm going to stop the share there. But again, you can go to that tweet there, that interview, that interview, uh, or that article, and uh, get up to speed on Chris Como. Now, if part of that getting up to speed, I'm going to come back to the other screen here. Um, it's just a, a reminder that Chris was a CNN uh, journalist. And during his tenure with CNN, his brother was the uh, infamous governor in New York who uh, made some really heartbreaking decisions on how to handle the pandemic and especially the elderly. So I, I won't get more specific than that. You can do your homework if you're not familiar. But it seemed like once uh, Andrew let, resigned and or left uh, the governor's chair, um, Chris wasn't far to follow. And so another thing, let's review why would the military be after Chris Como? He wasn't in the armed forces. He wasn't in elected office. Well, here's why. And this may be uh, redundant for you. you may already know it. There are two ways that civilians can be subject to military tribunals. One is for treason and the other is for crimes against humanity. So if there's sufficient evidence that those charges could be applied to a civilian, they will be, and those people can be subject to military tribunals. Actually, right now, with the way my country, the United States of America, is functioning, I believe that the military justice is the only court that actually um, does some unbiased calling to account for actions and crimes. So God bless them, everyone. <laughs> and I say that because years ago when I was in the uh, Army National Guard, I was attached to a JAG unit and I was a court reporter. So I saw some of those tribunals in action and uh, they don't play around. But here's what I'd like to ask the universe. Is my hunch that Chris Como has in some way been held to account? Um, so he's either doing these interviews from a spa location or via a double or something like that. Is it, uh, I'd like to find out, is there truth to my suspicion that this man has been in some way processed and that he, like so many others, we're going to see a more cascading amount of uh, MSN news and journalism people seeming to all of a sudden get more logical or, or embrace talking points that could be construed as conservative because uh, there's a spa that was made just for them with 200 bids. So let's see if that's what's going on with Mr. Como and if there's other insights or information the universe wants us to know. I'm going to switch the camera back to the tarot table and we'll uh, work with the cards and find out what they have to tell us. One second. Okay, is there truth in my thought that uh, the uh, military did catch up with Mr. Chris Como and he is enjoying a spa or at least has been held to account for whatever reason and uh, um, either he is to get some privileges or his likeness is uh, assisting the White Hats in uh, getting some of our more uh, awake talking points out there. So this will be about the, the person seen in the public eye and then a little bit about what's going on in the background. Were they caught? Have they been dealt with? What's going on? OK, 
Okay, we have the Two of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Hierophant. Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles. The Empress. And the Seven of Wands in our initial spread here. We have two of our cards, actually one, two, three of them. Three of them are major arcanas. Not that Chris Como per se is all that relevant, but we do what this is telling me already is that, yeah, this is a topic we need to be aware of. That spot is open. And we're going to, as I said, be seeing more former journalists or even ones that seem to still be actively journalists who are uh, espousing some surprisingly sensible and logical points and uh, or even some that could be thought of as conservative. So we're giving a big yes, yes, yes on that part of it. Now, <clears throat> we have uh, this card often indicates and it's indicating uh, Mr. Como that there's kind of a stalemate and a uh, going on, that there's been some negotiations and there's a kind of a stalemate. So I think Mr. Como has some hopes for what his likeness or what he is doing. I'm not so sure that they are going to uh, work out that way. I don't think the White Hats have made him any promises uh, for what he uh, um, is hoping for. There's a, a lot of events that have gone on recently that in include Mr. Como. So yeah, he's he got caught up. He got... Um, I believe they caught up with him. And in the recent past, I feel like that's his brother. His uh, his brother um, is no longer able to uh, in utilize him or protect him. Isn't that interesting? Uh, and so the, uh, the established structures that both of them aligned themselves with that they thought were so infallible and what have you have proven to be anything but since things are changing. Are they changing? Yes, we got the Wheel of Fortune here going. Now, if it's about our reality, our world, it always goes from dark to light. <clears throat> when it's people, it can just be the ups and downs of life and the fluctuations of your life path. Now, as, as we look at the um, near future here, because at this point, we're still trying to figure out how his, his uh, how are Mr. Como's fortunes changing? because this does show some change. Um, and we've got the Page of Pentacles showing up for the near future, which talks about a worthwhile effort. So actually, if he happened to, for some crazy reason, see what or hear what I said here, I would say that uh, it's saying whatever he's doing that is trying to earn some brownie points or some privileges or favors or what have you is actually being fairly effective. It's worth the effort. OK, if nothing else, that he can reach some unique individuals that others can't. So there's value in what he's doing or trying to do. The biggest insight card here with the emperor is showing up again, kind of saying that uh, there is some good that can be had for what he's offering and what he is attempting to do. Um, so even if his personal motives are rather selfish, there's value in it and it's uh, going to help change, whether it's maybe some people that would listen to him, but not to others who had sensible talking points. Now, <clears throat> doesn't mean that he's not still facing some strife and uh, issues. Those are going to continue for him. So, yeah, um, I think he's going, he, he's going, life's never going to be the same for him. Okay, not at all. But he can brighten his situation a little bit by what he's doing. Let's get a couple more cards and see what the universe wants us to know. High Priest is showing up. And the Two of Cups. Okay. Now, these cards are indicating that there's some information that's uh, kind of close to coming out about this whole situation, whether it's the uh, spa for the journalists or um, specifically Mr. Como. And he is uh, here. There's a card here with agreements. And they're collegial. So he is uh, he is working, I think, in somewhat good faith what he's doing. Even though it's selfish, you can still be in good faith. Let's take two more peeks. So I'm curious. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands, King of Cups. Okay, so this is an ending of something. And we know that life is 
as like he knew it has changed for him ever since 2021 when he was evading um, the military justice system. The uh, King of Cups is uh, very much in charge of his emotions. And I'm getting the feeling that Mr. Como has resigned himself to what his reality is now and moving forward. So like I said, I don't think he's had a total true change of heart, but he's offering up what he's doing possibly for some selfish reasons, but it will have value and it will uh, help people to accept from a voice that they trust some information, logic, what have you. Again, so far he's been talking about the value of communicating with those you don't necessarily uh, are in total agreement with, which is great for people to hear and maybe start internalizing. And secondly, he admitted that he has uh, suffered some consequences from health protocols. So very surprising. Like I said, that that when I heard that one, I thought, oh, he's working for the white hat. <laughs> maybe just for privileges, but, uh, you know, get real hamburger instead of cricket burger or something. But uh, that was my thought. Didn't get a hard yes here. But we did get a nod to his uh, his fortunes have changed, absolutely changed. Uh, what he's doing is worthwhile and it's going to reach some people and that value is going to be noticed. But uh, like I said, life as he knew it has changed drastically for the man. A recap. Earlier today, I saw that Chris Como, former CNN journalist, had had an interview in which he admitted to having had a, uh, a not- positive reaction to some health protocols. And when I saw that, especially on the heels of the fact that recently he also interviewed with Tucker Carlson and was making some surprisingly logical and sensible statements, uh, some that maybe could possibly be construed as conservative. And when I'm seeing that nowadays with former journalists or uh, those who have a, a platform within the journalism arena in the MSN, I think, oh, they're, they're at the spa in Guam. They're trying to get commissary privileges. They're working for a chocolate bar or an extra hour in the exercise yard or what have you. And so I wanted to find out if that was the case because there was a report in 2021 that Chris Como was sought by the military justice system. And again, that means it was for one of two things or both, uh, treason or crimes against humanity, which, good, I have no patience for those um, and people do need to be held account if they have had actions that can be shown to qualify them for those charges. So we asked, didn't get a hard yes, which would be one of my aces for the thought that is he going for privileges or has he allowed his digital image to be used for privileges and uh, didn't get a hard yes on that, but we did get a nod that that man's fortunes have actually changed. Okay, now he is trying to do something to, again, uh, kind of along the lines of what I jokingly say is earn some commissary privileges, things like that. And also he has some value as a former trusted liberal talking head to soften his stances and talk more logically and sensibly and cohesively. Um, it's got value. And so it's worth the effort. It's worth it for the White Hats because he is going to be able to be receptive uh, and received positively by people who trusted his demeanor, his voice, his reporting in the past and help them to kind of scoot along that uh, path towards that uh, enlightenment and truth. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's worthwhile what he's doing. So if there is an arrangement between the White Hats and Mr. Como, um, it is, it, it is beneficial for both parties and working well. The, uh, it, but again, what I got overall when I read was life as Mr. Como knew it a few years ago is never going to be the same. And it's not all about the ad, the not positive <laughs> reaction he had. It's uh, because of some accounting he had to do. So, you know, you hang out with the wrong people and you do the wrong things. You're going to end up paying a price, you know, either, on this plane of existence or uh, after. So anyway, the, Mr. Como and many others are going to start to pave that way of logic, sensible conclusions, um, collegial dialogue, things like that. So it, we're going to see more of it. And it to me, it's, it's kind of entertaining. Oh, he was with CNN and now he's talking uh, 
surprisingly sensibly, he must be at the spa. <laughs> we are getting, it was, the biggest thing from these cards was, that's the important thing, Laura, here, is yes, that spa is up and running, and it uh, you're going to see a lot more of that. So that's it for this video. I thank you so much for your time and your attention. I know many of you have had to resubscribe, and I thank you if you took the time and trouble to do that. It's not myself or my moderators that unsubscribe you. Please know that. Um, so I appreciate people that are tenacious and keep coming back. And for all of those that have made kind of a community in the comments, because we're spread out, those of us that are awake, we're holding uh, a spot for those in our circle, for our family, for those we work with. And sometimes that means we don't have a lot of people that are to the level we are awake near. So it's nice to have some people, even if it's just online, that when you come up with something, you know, that colleagues might not be ready to hear, like my last video was, you know, about the rapid human cloning. Well, my awake friends were really glad to hear it, but was my family or neighbors? No. <laughs> So it's nice sometimes if we have other resources for uh, contact and information and and just knowing that you can uh, talk about a theory and not have it shot down or say, would you please just let these kind of nutty philosophies go? Oh, I don't want to hear it. Well, we don't when we find each other. And that's great. Now, before I say good night, although we're done with the... Uh, the current events aspect of this video. So if that was what you were here for, love, light, and everything bright. I just want to tell everybody that uh, for the next two days, I've got some family plans that are going to be taking a priority. So you might not see me back here till Tuesday. However, I'll have tarot cards and uh, my phone with me. And if we need to uh, connect real fast and talk about some kind of surprising development and the technologies up and running where we can do it, I'll, I'll, I'll check in with you. But in the meantime, family first. And that's part of keeping your balance and your mental health and everything else, right? So until next time, I wish you love, light, and everything bright. Bye.